What up, y'all? So, Saturday night, we had Danny Garcia versus Jose Benavidez. And uh, Danny Garcia had a excellent uh, performance. You know what I'm saying? Um, what I tried to do was kind of like compare his fight against Benavidez to Terrence Crawford. You know, because I want to see Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford first, right? But I would like to see what Danny versus Bud look like afterwards. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't, we don't even really know. We can assume, yeah, Bud, you know what I'm saying, beat uh, Danny. You know, I even had to pick Bud because of some things I've seen in Danny. But the topic of this video is about Tony Harrison, though. Tony Harrison versus Danny Garcia because if you was watching the fight Saturday night, you seen... You seen uh, one of the commentators ask Tony Harrison about the fight, and Tony Harrison was like, "Hey man, this ain't this ain't no 154 fight. They just, you know, this this is my division. They just fighting at 154. These two 147 pounders, so me versus Danny, will be the real fight, you know. And that was like halfway through the fight. The fight wasn't even over with. So after the fight. So when the fight was over, they put the mic in Danny's face, and Danny was like, they asked him about Tony Harris, and Danny, he was like, well, <laughs> I don't know. I like to fight Keith Thurman. That's because he know better. You hear me? He know better. And plus, you know, I, I give him this, though. He understand boxing, too. He know him and Keith Thurman would be a bigger fight than him and Tony Harris, you know what I'm saying, on, on, you know, on paper, but... Tony Harrison and Danny Garcia would be like, I think exactly what Danny Garcia did to Jose Benavidez, I think Tony would do Danny like that. <laughs> I think Tony would dominate Danny because if you watch the Earl Spence versus Danny, all Danny could say was the jab, 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 even though it was more than a fucking jab. It was way more than a jab. I seen the shit. It was that left hand. It was controlling the distance, knowing where he was, you know. It, it was he just outboxed you, bro. But with Tony, he gonna outbox you too. You know what I'm saying? You might not be as hurt as Earl put the pain on him, but Tony, you know, same reason. He gonna have that stick in his face. He ain't gonna be able to fucking see. You know, and, 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 and Tony gonna work on, gonna put some combinations together, and I work on. See, Danny do got a puncher's chance, but I can't count on Danny. I wouldn't bet. I wouldn't bet on Danny to knock Tony Harrison out because Danny Garcia don't have the killer instinct no more. If he if he even ever had it, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got that because when he hurt Tony. Right, let's say he hurt him because there were times during the Jose Benavidez fight where I seen Danny knock the fucking snot out of Jose Benavidez's nose. Like you can just see it, like the, in slow motion, it's like a big ass. <laughs> and, and the nigga wouldn't even, you know, he wouldn't press him, press the action. Like he, you know, a, a guy with that killer instinct, like Earl. And I gotta give it to Bud too, cause Bud like this too. Like he see, you know, or Jamel. It, it's it's quite a few guys. They see you hurt. Boom. It's like a little trigger. Like, it's on, nigga. It's on. You know what I'm saying? After that, Danny ain't got that. So, if he was to hurt Tony Harrison, Tony Harrison would take a couple steps back, jab, start jabbing him again, and, 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 and he'll recover. He'll fuck around and get his second or third win. You know, because Tony Harrison got stamina problem. You know what I'm saying? I seen it with... I got to say he got stamina problem because it ain't just one fight. I seen him do that shit in multiple fights, bro. He was beating the shit out of Jerry Heard. Outboxing him, which was uh, uh, mighty easy. But he was outboxing him. Got tired. And the fact, you know, you know, and that's what really beat him. Him being tired, Jerry Heard put on the pressure a little more. And, and got Tony up out of there. So anything with Jamel. He was doing a good job versus Jamel. But Jamel clipped him because what Tony Harrison was trying to do to disguise him being tired with, like, playing around and shit. That's what guys be doing when they, like, tired or hurt. It'd be either one. They either tired or they hurt or both. 
they get to doing stupid shit. So that's when you supposed to press on. It's just Danny ain't got that look click. So he ain't gonna he ain't gonna get him out of there. He ain't gonna press him. So I automatically expect it to be a twelve round fight, and I don't believe he 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 gonna he gonna stop him. So I gotta give it to Tony Harris. You know what I'm saying? He gonna he gonna make Danny look bad, like cause Danny too fucking short, and he ain't no pressure type of fighter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He ain't he ain't gonna press him. He just gonna try to boss him like he just did with Jose Benavidez. It was a good performance. Don't get me wrong. He did what he had to do. He beat the shot that boy, but he ain't get him out of there. That's the only thing about it. You ain't gotta get out of every get every fight out of there, but that's what you based on. Um, that power, and you a counter puncher, so it ain't like your punch count gonna be very high. So Tony gonna beat the shit out of Danny, man. Let alone Jamil Charlo, I ain't even want that. <laughs> Jamil fuck around, he gonna he gonna knock Danny out. But don't get me wrong though, Danny got some pretty good defense though. He got some good defense, not to not to not to just get knocked out. You know what I'm saying? The first few rounds or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta catch Danny. And press him. But I think Jamel the one, he he can get him out of there. But Tony just gonna outbox him. You know what I'm saying? And and Danny ain't gonna knock him out. So that's that on that man. Uh Danny don't wanna fight Tony Harrison. That shit ain't happening. Sorry to say, it ain't happening. <laughs> I can tell by Danny Garcia demeanor. When he was asked a question of Tony, Tony Harrison, you can tell just right there. He like, uh, he ain't really trying to campaign, campaign at 154. He just want to fight at 54 for his body. You know what I'm saying? So he want to fight. That's why he want to fight somebody like Laura. And Laura, you know what I'm saying? He feel like he can hurt Laura and it be exciting fighting. And Laura ain't got enough power to hurt him that bad, so... I don't know, man. Laura might even fuck up Danny Garcia. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I fuck with Danny, though. So, no disrespect to Danny. I'm just saying, like, these matchups, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and subscribe already. And tell that boy Danny, stay the fuck away from Tony, man. Stay away from Tony. Your problem, bro. You know what I'm saying? Only reason Jamel, Jamel got him because he got the coach, right? Made the adjustment. And he got the power that lasts all 12 rounds. Other than that, if you ain't got that, Tony going to beat the fuck out you. You know what I'm saying? He going to make you look bad. But I seen Tony Hurston have some laps and, and, and a performance here and there, like an off night. But at his best, he looked good, though. And Danny look good, too, but it's just the style, the reach, the height, knowing how to use. You know, you got guys who got the reach and the height don't use that shit like from door. You know what I'm saying? Like, from door, a better inside fighter than he is on the outside, which is some wild shit. Like, he fight the right guy, he going to get clipped, and he going, he, getting, he going to sleep. Like, for instance, if Fondora versus Jamel, you know what I'm saying? Or Fandor versus Earl. Earl gonna fuck him up on the inside. He gonna hurt that dude. But it is what it is, man. Smash that like button, subscribe. If you ain't already subscribed, and I'm out, y'all deuces.